couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which I'll show you how you can play jazz chords using only one finger. I'm not kidding you. This lesson is mainly designed for non-jazz players, even though if you're a jazz player, what are we gonna lose? Stay, watch, enjoy. Um, so, um, one finger, right? Just bar, any fret. And I'll tell you the, the trick behind this right away. Um, if you play certain sets of strings, you get highly embellished chords. For example, the um, immediate choice would be to play strings one, two, three, and six, right? And that would be a minor chord. For example, if we're on fret five, that would be A minor, right? But if we play strings two, three, four, and six, it's A minor 7. If we play strings 1, 2, 3, and 5, we get a 9th chord. If we play strings 2, 3, 4, and 5, we get a 9 and 11 chord. And that's the secret behind this. Um, the way to do this is to change string sets. For example, if we play 7 and we play strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, and then we play 5, and we play strings 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then do the same thing with 3 and 1. Okay, immediately we get a certain chord progression. Okay, see, by changing the bass, okay, we change the expression of the chord. Now, how do we make music out of it? We add another finger. And some of you may say, hey, you said one finger. No, I haven't. I said how to play jazz chords with one finger and we played jazz chords. Now I'll show you how to make music out of it. And for that, you'll need an extra finger. So um, you can just use the little finger, the pinky. And you'll want to use it two frets higher than the frets that you're barring. Okay, for example, if you're on five, you'll want to play seven using your pinky. And you can add that on the first string or the second string, whichever is your highest string. And that's a 13th chord now. Okay, so you can do... Okay, you can do pinky, no pinky, and then take it two frets down. Okay, or play the sixth string then as your bass note. Uh, or the other way around. Okay. Sixth string first, and then the fifth, and see what that brings you. Okay? And try that around the neck and see which results you get with different bass strings. Okay? Now try it with different sets of strings. Okay? With the second string. Okay? When you're playing strings two, three, four, and five or six. Okay, so you can combine it. You can play the second string and then the first. Okay? And it starts to sound jazzy. Okay? You can also go up. Okay? You can take it one fret at a time. Okay? And this is kind of fusion-y. And they actually used this in fusion, at least in classic fusion, um, in the 70s. So again, this is your normal 13th chord, just without this. You, you're not doing, you know, the double bar with the third here. Okay? If you're doing the whole thing, then you have the 11th. So that's a little bit too much. That's why we're playing four notes at a time. Strings one, two, three, and five. One, two, three, and uh, six. Two, three, four, and six. Two, three, four, and five. Okay? And you can just experiment with it and come up with really nice ideas. Okay? And I'm just showing you the basics, just showing you the ropes. You can uh, find really neat... Okay? You can land on a fret and then take it two frets down and use the pinky to play the same fret. Okay, something like... Um, okay, something like this. Or... Um, okay, go...
go down. Okay? If you play the high uh, pinky, okay, on the first string, the high pinky, uh, that's the name of my new album, um, and you play strings one, two, three, and six, you get a minor nine, okay, a minor add nine. So, okay, you can do this move, you can take the pinky off, then two frets down, do the same thing. And then you can do just the bar on uh, one fret lower whenever you want to end. Okay, um, just remember to change the bass notes. If you change the bass strings, um, you create a different musical root, you create different chords. And of course it should go without saying that you don't have to play blocks all the time, you can play bass, chord, okay, bass and then the chord and then play around with pinky on, pinky off, okay? You can arpeggiate the chords, of course. And then you create syncopations, you create rhythmic expressions, and then the music really starts flowing. And of course you can do bass lines, you know, chromatics, open strings between the chromatics, um, create um, different intervals with your pinky or between the pinky and the chord. Okay, see? And um, I was playing seven and six, and I was playing seven with my pinky and then six with the chord. Um, and you can just, like, again, play around with the different combinations you have. Uh, just remember to have fun, that's the important thing. And just one last idea before we go, try adding the pinky somewhere else. For example, if you're playing strings 2, 3, 4, and 5, try putting the pinky on the 4th string and then you get this. Okay, another variation on the ninth chord. Um, you can also try, when you're playing strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, you can try adding it to the third string. And then you're getting a really interesting fusion chord. Right? And of course, if you're doing the same thing with the pinky on the second string and playing strings 2, 3, 4, and 5, you're getting just, you know, your normal run-of-the-mill seventh chord. Right? So you can add that to the mix. Okay, just randomly, completely randomly, just rely on the rhythm uh, and... Find your expressions, take your time with it, and you'll start, you know, things will start clearing up as you go along, and you'll start finding really interesting ideas. So, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's plenty of lessons already on the channel, um, just like this one and better. So, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.